Micro Center sent me over their brand new Atari fight stick with trackball with a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus built in. So this is a, for $200, a ready to go emulation device. Now it is catered towards Atari and you can play Centipede and Missile Command and all that good stuff. But what I'm gonna do is throw in a new image as well to show you that it'll just plug and play into any pre-built image you already have or you can download some as well. So I'm really impressed by the build quality. Let's go ahead and unbox it. We'll set it up and how it's supposed to be. Then I'm gonna set it up with a pre-built image. And I also have a lot of cool things to share with you that Micro Center is currently doing that are pretty cool for retro gaming that I think a lot of you are gonna be interested in. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So right off the bat, you'll notice this box is huge. Now this model does come fully loaded. They make models without the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus included, but I have to say the Raspberry Pi you're gonna see is mounted into the arcade stick itself. It is literally a standalone arcade box. All you need is a T of some sort of display and this thing will work out of the box. It's really nice. Super well packaged. Even the T molding is wrapped. I'll have to take off that wrap in a second. The buttons themselves feel great, like very, very premium in my mind. It does come with keys so you can lock and unlock it. And if you can see on the bottom there, it does come with rubber feet. The graphics are really well put on. There's no tears, there's no, it looks very, very well put on. Um, the texturing is great and the color combination is also great. The red button is often your fire button, so it's nice to have black and red buttons. And it's beefy, this thing is not light. Um, you'd probably not want it in your lap at all. You want it to stand on something. Um, but it is a work of art. It is very, very pretty. Shout out to Micro Center for sending me this unit. Check out their brand new retro arcade builder. Now, a lot of you out there are used to building your own PC. Why not build your own arcade cabinet? You can do the fight stick with a trackball, without a trackball, a bar top, a three-quarter size uh, cabinet or even a full size cabinet. You can select your Raspberry Pi and some of these things are incredibly cheap. For example, $24.99 for a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is amazing. So you select your components, they will send you, they'll even help you select your buttons. They have many different styles, LED, non-LED, and check out their new build here. Pretty cool, even if you're just going to play around with it. Additionally, they are running a promotion right now, no purchase necessary for a free 32 gigabyte flat uh, micro SD plus the adapter itself, USB 3.0 adapter. Additionally, if you even have a micro center near you, they're doing crazy ridiculous deals on Raspberry Pi and micro SD cards. So if you've got to pop into one, they're gonna really hook you up with a, with a great price, better than Best Buy guaranteed. They also do have these on Amazon. You can get it without the Raspberry Pi for $150. You get it without the trackball for $120. It's still gonna have that lock and key and you can put whatever you want in the middle. You can put a mini PC in there. You can put you know, Raspberry Pi 4, anything you wish. Um, it should come with a Zinmo style controller, so you should have no compatibility issues. Those shocks remind me of old Volvo I had. I love that sound. These uh, sticks and buttons, as you can see, the enclosures are green. The, the, the inside, it's a black clicker. Um, I'm not exactly sure which buttons they are, but they're very, very nice. This is the oversized trackball. You're gonna see it compared to my other one. The one thing though is make sure you plug in this trackball. It's not plugged in. Just put it, plug in a USB into your Raspberry Pi 3B Plus or PC, whatever you're running this on. And it does have HDMI and power included, so all you do is run this out the back and you can power it on. The actual encoder board here is a Zinmo controller board. The great thing about that, works for Raspberry Pi and PC, so you're not only gonna be able to use this on your uh, Raspberry Pi, but you can also use it on the PC as well. Here's some more shots of the switches and the back end. You also have some extra wires here. You might be able to cut those off, but I would just leave them in case you wanna you know, change the application. It gives you some expandability if you wanna change it out later. Now, we're gonna go ahead and click on these buttons really quick and see what they sound like.
much better. So this does come with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card already included and you just boot it up, connect to your Wi-Fi, and it'll install a base image for you with some licensed Atari games. You can either use the, um, the stick or you can also use the trackball at this point as long as it's plugged in to go ahead and install the base image. It'll take about 10 minutes to install and once you install it, you're gonna have a fresh RetroPie image. It's gonna look something like this. You're gonna have arcade, Atari 2600, Atari 5200, and 7800 and uh, about 100 games like I said. I'm gonna go ahead and play an uh, arcade game though. Um, the games do have pictures and video snaps, so it does have a little preview of the games before you load them. And as you see, it's just a base RetroPie image. It's actually fairly old. But later in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and load this up with a Dar Zone image I recently reviewed about a week ago. It's 400 gigabytes of games, and this arcade stick is recognized right on first boot. But before we get to that, this is what your experience would be like right out of the box which for a newbie, it might be plenty good. So you can also play Tempest and Missile Command and all sorts of other Atari classics, but you can also throw any kind of retro games you want as this is a Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and load up Darstone's image. Here's the intro video. So you can see I just booted the image and it already detected my fight stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do my D-pad as my joystick, select and start as the white buttons on the top, A, B, X, and Y, and then L, R, shoulder as the last two buttons on the six. And then these, you just hold down your red button or any button, and it'll go ahead and skip these and say not defined. Until you get to the last one here, which is your, um, your hotkey button, go ahead and I like to put that as my upper left button that I set up as select. I also like to put that as my hotkey. And then you'll notice this image is rocking and rolling right out of the box. So here I am in arcade games, and let's go ahead and show you that not only is the fight stick working, but the um, trackball is working as well. With the trackball, just make sure that you enable mouse in retro art. I have a separate video on how to do that, and I'll link it in the description. Crouch 
remember this one, the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, not even the 4. You guys seeing that? Are you seeing that? I could burn people. True talks. Alright, where are we going? 
instant replay. You guys seen this? Look at those shadows. All that pixel. Alright, where's the hole? Four mile per hour, the eight iron. I, it's that hole, the hole's right there. Good. Oh. This, this, this. Drew talks, baby, making history over here. Instant. Re Look at that shot. Mmm. Tiger Woods, eat your heart out. All right, let's see if we can nail it here. Go for the one. Try for the bird. You guys seen that? Number one, Drew Talks. Thanks again to Micro Center for sending me this unit. It is really cool. I'm definitely gonna be using it for a while and over the holidays, it's definitely gonna get loose, used, especially as I have people come over and we actually get to, uh, you know, obviously safe people within my social bubble, but uh, we'll have some fun with this thing. Uh, Marble Madness, some Golden Tea, Centipede, Missile Command, um, and then everything from Marvel Combat and, and Marvel vs. Capcom, it's gonna be great, I, I know it is. And uh, I can always put this on my PC with Coin Ops or LaunchBox, so it's gonna be a ton of fun, two thumbs up, links in the description to all this, that's what I think, let me know what you all think, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.